Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. Today, I want to show you some of the most amazing and mysterious uh, UFO sightings caught on video during the NASA STS space shuttle missions. Now, of course, the image that you're seeing here as I'm speaking is the famous so-called Black Knight satellite image that was captured during the STS-88 mission in 1998. And I love this image. This, this image, no matter how much they try to cover it up, uh, has and will continue to generate interest into the story of the Black Knight satellite, which is theorized to be an alien satellite that has been orbiting Earth for thousands if not hundreds of thousands of years. And that has been seen to change position and change its speed as it orbits the Earth. So again, we're gonna start off uh, with a new piece of UFO footage captured during the STS-115 mission, where even though this UFO was far away, in space terms at least, from the ISS, you will hear during the NASA transmissions with the control center that they are concerned enough with this object that they are postponing all of their activities for the remainder of the day and the next day. So watch the footage and we will continue on with some more footage that will present you with very few doubts that there is alien activity happening above Earth and in space. And Fergie, I also have a big call for your timeline. Ready to copy. Um, a couple hours ago, we were looking at some video. Um, Inca was uh, doing some Earth observation and we noticed uh, an object we saw in the, in the uh, video. And uh, we're not sure exactly what it was. We're taking a look at that right now. But in the interim, we'd like to leave the KU uh, and not stow it and also not do the PGSC um, cleanup activities uh, just in case we need to uh, use those systems here in the, for other video downlink. Terry, can you run that by me again while we're holding off on that stuff? It was because... Uh, like I said a few hours ago, we just noticed um, Inco had seen an object in the uh, video doing Earth observations, and we just want to keep the KU up um, to possibly downlink more uh, video here in the near term. Atlantis Houston was the big picture. The MMT just met and they've decided that based on this weather we've been having down in Florida and uh, combination with this object that we saw tomorrow, that we're going to wave off tomorrow. So our next deorbit opportunity is going to be on flight day uh, 13. So tomorrow will be a wave off day. We have our FAO and our timeliners are working very hard right now to come up with a plan for tomorrow. And uh, we'll certainly get you any words that we have on that as soon as we can. So again, this is from the STS-115 mission, which uh, was a space shuttle mission to the International Space Station flown by the space shuttle Atlantis, which was actually the first assembly mission to the ISS after the disastrous Columbia mission. And as you just saw, they are tracking this UFO, they are concerned about it, they are talking with Houston, and it's just another one of these unexplainable objects that we've seen countless times in this space station video. So now we'll move on to another piece of footage, an amazing piece of footage. Again, from the STS-115 mission, which was in 2006, where NASA had actually caught in these three triangular objects sitting in unison out in space as almost as if to watch the space station. And you'll see in the footage, they actually zoom out with the camera. And what you're seeing here is likely the ultraviolet camera that they've switched to and what you're seeing here is actually space however they have cameras up there on the iss ultraviolet cameras as you will see in the next piece of footage that we're going to show you in just a minute uh, that are utilized to see these objects out in the darkness of space so that is what you're seeing here and as it's plain to see uh, we see this formation of three objects forming a triangle it could be one large object, or it could be three separate objects, but nonetheless, it's some amazing footage.
Lastly, we want to show you one of the most publicized clips of the endless activity that is happening above Earth and in space. It was captured during the STS-48 mission. And what you are seeing was a live recording uh, by the space shuttle in 1991 using the far ultraviolet spectrum camera. So basically you're seeing UV light here, which cannot be seen by the human eye. So the objects we see in this video could not be seen by the space shuttle crew. And as we've talked about before, a lot of these UFOs can only be seen in ultraviolet which we've documented in past videos where people will be recording a portion of sky that is empty and then use a UV filter and see an object sitting in that same portion of sky. And as you'll see in this footage, we have crafts that are zooming by overhead, changing speeds, changing trajectories, and even pulsating in some cases. So watch the footage and we'll come back to you as soon as it's done. We are currently, currently receiving downlink from Discovery as it passes over the Pacific Ocean. Once again, the Cirrus is part of the AFP-675. The problems that have occurred with the two tape recorders on AFP-675 have had no impact on Cirrus. Cirrus is performing quite well. The community, the payload community, working with that particular instrument is very happy with the active, with the data that they've received. Cirrus is the primary payload on AFP 675. The recorders in question um, are related to the secondary payloads, specifically the FAR UV, which is which performs imaging and pho photometry of natural and man-made ultraviolet emissions, the uniformly redundant array or URA, which measures spectral and spatial characteristics of the Earth's horizon, and QUIMS, the quadrupole ion and neutral spectrometer, which determines and identifies contamination for Cirrus. The loss of those recorders is not a complete loss of data for the AFP secondary community. We still will be able to get some real-time data from those instruments. So again, we've shown you three amazing pieces of footage here, straight from NASA, straight from the space shuttle cameras themselves. You can find this footage online, it's public domain footage, there for everyone to see, and there's much more. Much more, in fact, and we will do future videos on this as well. And again, some of you may have seen this footage already, but I have no doubt that there are many of you out there, especially those of you who are new to the channel, as we've been getting an extremely high rate of subscribers lately, up to around 50,000 a month, many of which I've spoken to and who have emailed me and are extremely new to this subject. So again, we're going to be talking about a lot of things. Some of you may have seen these before or, or heard about them, but we're definitely going to do our best to clarify it and uh, explain everything that's happening for those of you who are just starting out in this research. So again, let me know what you guys think. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe on your way out. I really appreciate it. And as always, if you have your own UFO footage or interesting images or something that you've seen, a news story that you'd like us to look into, don't hesitate to email me. My email address is down in the video description. So let me know, email me anytime, and stick around because we've got a lot more coming. Stay safe, guys.